Well, this is my uh, next tiger. <laughs> I don't know what sort of a mess I'm going to make at this. Uh, I'm doing this about about a quarter as a quarter bigger than than that one. Um, it doesn't look it yet, but it will when it's when it's when I've got a bit more in on it. Uh, and I forced myself to do this bit. Um, I must do some of it's pointless getting up in the morning. <laughs> but uh, I'm using, uh, I've been happy with this. It's, um, I suppose they're all virtually all the same. There's not, not a lot of difference between any of them. It's um, a twist, Twisties um, Pentel. Uh, it's Japanese. It's a 0.5 and it's a 2B. And um, I didn't, I've never used a mechanical pencil before and I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. You can't put a lot of pressure on because you'll break the points. But this is 0.5 and I've, I, because I'm so happy I've sent for another one with a, with a 0.3. I only want the two and I want it for fine work. And the finer I get the better I'll, I'll get and the less rubbing out I'll do hopefully. And it's got a rubber in the end. The rubber, the rubber, um, the rubber comes up when you twist the end if you want to... Um, Sorry, I'm. When you twist the end, the rubber, the rubber comes out, and uh, you can get a set set of them. The, the, the actual I'm doing it with one hand here. The, the actual rubber comes out, and you can get several of them for about. I think it's about you get about four for about two pound. I think I'll just pop this back in again. Well, I'll just leave it there. So that's the rubber, and it fits in the end there, and it's got pencil leads inside it, and uh, I suppose any any mechanical pencil would do, but. Um, yeah, you just press the end and up it pops and you're off again. You don't have to sharpen or anything like that. And I find it, it, it's quite good for small lines and you put a bit of pressure on because it's too big. You can add a little blackness to it and you can do little bits and pieces which I've been trying to do and things like that. Any, anyway, uh, um, uh, and I've used bits of paper and they've irritated me and I found that one of your bank statements... Um, Envelopes is about the best thing. It moves around the paper quite happily because it's got a, a, bit, a bit of glassine in the front of it, <laughs> which is a, like a, a plastic -y envelope at the front, so as you can see through a window, a plastic window it's got in it. But um, yeah, so that's as far as I've got so far. I'm not going to waffle on. I'm going to try and make this as quick as I can. I still aren't prepared to do um, a fast what they call them on because. It would take me just as long because I'd be hours and weeks doing it, so I'm probably better off just doing a minute or two here and there. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'm not sure about the colours on that one because uh, the colours didn't look like it, but that's how they came out of my printer, so I'm going to do that. And they're near enough to a tiger, so I was quite attracted to this one, but um, it looks quite complicated to me. But anyway, uh, um, I'll do it. And the paper I'm using for anybody that but if anybody wants to know, I'm using them. Um, oh, sorry about this. Up. Sorry about that. Um, I'm using Dale and Brownie. I don't know if it's any good or not. It's um, it's for pencils and uh, paintbrushes and pens and chalk and uh, it's supposed to be acid three you get 30 sheets in it and it's a3 size and it's 200 grams per square meter which is a weight and it's it's 120 pound for, for for americans and um it's 16 and a half by 11 and a half inches approximately i'll say it's 11.7 but 16 and a half by 11 and a half and it's uh it's called fine grain heavyweight, and I've used both sides, and I haven't I haven't noticed any difference. Um, it's made in the UK, not that that makes any difference. I'm going to try some of this what they call on paper from. Um, yeah, that's what the pad looks like. You get thirty sheets, and this is what I've been doing all my paintings on, apart from the first two I started, which I did on pastel paper, which is absolutely terrible <laughs> but uh, anyway I'll stop there and uh, so that's what I've been using so far 
and as I go along I'll show you what I've been using and I'm getting a, a, a reason a, a good response from people uh, I haven't had any detrimental I usually get things like uh, why don't you go home and god you're boring me <laughs> but on this I've had a couple of um, not many comments I've had a girl from Brazil and uh, she was very very nice and uh, and a couple of boys uh, who commented on a couple of them and um, they are marathons I, I do apologize but and um yeah i'm just i'm just learning i'm just learning i'm just oh, I'm, I'm not new at painting but i am new at this watercolor uh, not watercolor um oh dear uh, pencils i'm using faber castell pencils and uh I do use a couple of Darewents, but not many. It's Faber Castell are the main one. So when you see any of mine, they're all made with Faber Castell. And uh, there's another one called Caran Dash, which I haven't tried, and I don't think I'm all that bothered. Um, I'm not too bothered about them. I think all the pencils are very nearly the same. Some might feel a bit, a bit, uh, a little bit better than the others, but I don't think there's any really, really thingy difference between them. Apart from money, uh, I think if you buy Faber Castell, you can't go far wrong. And I've I, I bought a box of um, Marco Renoir, which um, they feel quite good. And uh, I might use them to paint this picture. I, I might just use them to paint this picture. So if I do, I'll let you know, and I'll just use a Marco Renoir pencils with this. And anyway, I'll stop there and bubbling again. And uh, that's as far as it got. So the next one will be a couple of minutes on the next bit in the next. Bit. Well, this is the next part of my uh, what I call a tiger, tiger and cub frontal. Um, it's been done many times before by the looks of it, and uh, Jasmina Suzak's done it, I think. Oh, I know she has, and. Uh, I'm just a little way into it. Um, and what I'm doing, I'm trying something new. Um, I really want to go into pastels. I, I, I don't think uh, coloured pencils suit me. They're not. They're not something I enjoy. I don't have a lot of control over them. I don't. I don't feel as though I've got control over them. But I've done a bit of water painting here. I've got uh, got a couple of old wreck tins I've had, oh it must be 30 years, 40 years, and uh, a couple of pallets I bought many years ago, and uh, uh, it's a long time since I've done watercolour painting, uh, 97 I think it was, the last ones I did birds, and uh, I've just put a little bit on here, and I'm using coloured pencils, Faber-Castell uh, Prima Colours, and um, I'm going to try the Faber Castell pit uh, pastels next on my next painting. And I did say I was going to try and do this one as um, Marco Renoir, but I haven't. I, I, it's done with um, watercolour paints. They're good quality paints, um, but um, and they're light fast. That's what I mean by good quality. They last. I've had the painting stuck on the wall in the sunshine for oh, must be a good 30 years, 20 years, and they're still they're still light fast. And uh, anyway, that's as far as I've got, and I'll do the next. I'll show you the next bit when I've done it, and uh, that's what I'm doing. Um, I still haven't. Don't feel confident about putting it fast speed for people, but uh, somebody did ask me to do it in a fast speed, but uh, I I don't feel all that confident. I, I'm not all that good yet anyway. Um, I'm just passing muster I think and I'm not really enjoying this. I, I think I need a new medium, it's a medium I need uh, and, I, and I, I can't really control the watercolours to, to get what I want because um, I've worked in a different medium. So this is all new for me anyway so I'm just mourning, I'll stop there. Well this is as far as I've got and I've been about eight hours <laughs> That's as far as I've got in eight hours. I wouldn't say I was really fast, but uh, 
Alright, music's a bit loud. But this is the next stage I've just done here. You can see what I'm trying to achieve. And uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. I, I don't know. I, these are the people that they come up and they tell you about the colour wheel, don't they? And red and the, the imposing colour being green. And the, I don't know any of that. <laughs> I've got no idea. <laughs> I have got no idea. Um, <laughs> so I, I just, I just, I just follow plugger. I just look at the colours on there and then see whether I can make that colour. That's it. I don't think about anything about doing wheels or colours or drawing or I just do the best I can do <laughs> and it's usually not good enough and uh, I'm still hesitant about doing one of these fast um, fast I don't know what they call them fast videos um, they call them time lapse I think they call them time lapse I'm not quite sure I thought time lapse was slowed down ones but anyway um, shows you how thick I am so uh, this is as far as I've got and uh, when I've done any more I'll, I'll add it on again. <laughs> For any, I know some people are interested. I've, I've got a couple of people that, that do like what I do. I don't know why, poor souls. But uh, anyway, I'll stop there and uh, I'll, I'll just add this on. I'm doing a couple of minutes at a time video. Um, a couple of hours at a time work, but a couple of minutes video. <laughs> Oh, stop there. So every 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 couple of minutes is a couple of hours, or it's overnight or something. It's, the least is two hours anyway. Well, I'm into day two now, <laughs> and uh, I forgot to do the other little bit. I did a couple of hours yesterday, and uh, I've just done a couple of hours this morning, and um, I started at half a six and it's uh, 8.31 so I'm doing a couple of, I am doing a couple of hours at a time just about and uh, I've got a little bit more to do, I might do a little bit more but I think I'm just about finished for this period and uh, I don't rush it, I don't rush anything but uh, I've gone ahead and uh, gone a bit further than I should have done before I did a, did a little video on it but um, yeah, uh, I haven't got the colours, I'm not as bright as what they are, uh, but as long as I get the other bits right I'm okay. Um, I don't think I'm going deep enough with the colours, I'm a bit hesitant about, and that's the main thing about a picture is contrast, once you get the contrast right, that's what the success is with uh, some of the girls, they do the contrast, get the contrast right, once you've got the contrast, uh, by, by that I mean the, the the depth of colour, and then you put the light on top, or whichever way you want to go around it. But um, these aren't uh, these aren't necessarily an easy th thing to do. I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was easy. I've been painting for years. Yeah, we're watercolours, um, and uh, I haven't got away with these pencils yet. I really haven't. Um, I'm still trying to use them like watercolours. <laughs> it's ridic I'm ridiculous. It's a, it's a hard habit to get out of. And I still have my water pot. <laughs> I still have my water pot out. I never use it. Or oh, for acrylics I do. I use it for acrylic paint. And this is all I've been using. And uh, I didn't like paper castle. This one here so it felt very hard. It wasn't. didn't feel like the rest of it. The, the, It's a Faber Castell and it's um, a 132 and it's called Light Flesh. It's probably harder for a reason but I, it, it, it is hard. It's a harder pencil than the other ones and I found that um, the black of um, Faber Castell One nine nine. It's also uh, a little bit hard for me. It, it, it must be built in for some reason, but uh, I, I've gone back to uh, I've gone back to the day when um, ivory black. Yeah, day went to ivory black, 
and that's much richer. So I must have, I made a hasty decision with day weights, I think, on some of them. Um, so I'll still continue using them. I still am anyway. I haven't broken up or anything there. Sometimes I need a soft lead, and I, I never, I never feel as though I need a hard lead. A hard lead, it's softness I need. And um, I was watching a girl. But she's got loads of videos out on the, on the thing. She's very qualified. Got her own little, a little studio and her own little business, as I think. And she's using a thing called white ink. It's the whites that get me. So I'm going to try white ink. I've never thinking it before, but um, I do like me alcohol, rubbing alcohol, um, isopropanol, isopropyl, isopropanol, isopropyl. I'm not quite sure. Um, and I find that blends me, me colours quite well and gives me tooth for the next um, for the next little engagement that you're going to do. Anyway, I shall stop there and um, I'm in daylight again. I, I've got no idea what these uh, are going to look like for the thingy, but I, I haven't felt dissatisfied with this one. I, I, I've been I've had me ups and downs, but I haven't had a, a, a real thingy. Uh, the girls think they'll bang these out in a minute. <laughs> well, well, five minutes. Some of them seem to bang one out a day. I, I can't bang out one a week. And I still haven't finished. This is the furthest I've got on the, on, 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 on the dual animal. Um, I still didn't like the cub for some reason. I don't know why. I, I, think, I think I'm painting too small. I think the, the figures I'm doing are a little bit too small. Although they might look big on this thing, they they aren't all that big. It's that's A3 paper, which is um, it's double copy paper, isn't it? It's two pieces of copy paper laid side to side, and uh, that one doesn't look smaller, but it is smaller than that one. That's that's a bigger picture altogether. It's, it's, it's quite bigger than that one. But well, I'm quite happy with this study. I'm not. Uh, I call them studies. I don't call them. It's not really art. It's, I'm just figuring out what to do. Really. Um, I hope I aren't putting anybody else up. I'm just laying my thoughts. I'm just putting my thoughts out. I'm getting old, so I don't care about what anybody thinks. I'm not bothered. I don't. Not, couldn't care less. I'm just telling the truth. Uh, anyway, uh, if anybody wants to know anything or. But I, do, I don't know why they should, but if they do, I, 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 I can tell them I can put it in the next video or something. Um, but I am going on to pastels. I'm going to try pastels. Whether I like that medium, I've got no idea. I have done pastels before and I liked them. And the trouble is they're messy. I can't afford the mess. I don't want the mess. So I've gone on to pest, pe, 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 the pencils. I've ordered some pencils. Pastel pencils. <sighs> anyway, I'll stop there. Well, this is part five, uh, part six. Um, you won't notice it, but it's part six for me. It's um, where I join them all together. Um, and it's been a couple of hours since I've done the last bit. Um, I've added a bit on, maybe you can't see it, and I've done alterations, done a few highlights, and uh, um, done bits and pieces and things, and uh, it's, it's still not what I want, but uh, it does take a long time. To, they do take a long time to do these. They <laughs> it's not like taking a photograph, is it? Um, it takes me a long time to get the the effect I want. Uh, I can get it, but it does take a long time, um, and it's more than I want to. Want to wait for? I think I don't. I'm not quite sure. Other well, people just sit there and get on with it and do them. I don't know. They don't seem to have any difficulties. They don't say what's what's this and what's that. And but I know that uh, alcohol is a big uh, big. I just found a bottle actually. I was running out and I, I, I put. This is what I use anyway. To, to instead of uh, I've got baby oil. I've got that terpenoid stuff which I don't like. And uh, I've got baby oil there. Yeah, baby oil and terpenoid and I've got uh, other things. But this is the stuff that I use. 
And I think, I forget how much it is this, but there's a litre there and it, it lasts forever. You only, you only squirt, I put a, little, put a bit in a bottle like that and then just squirt it into the, the top of the cap which you get with the thing. And uh, it, uh, it does. I just spilt it all over, I forgot there was some in there. But it's a cleaning agent in any case, so I mean it's, it's, it's good for everything. Um, it has got a, a slight, what a class is a, a, what a medical smell, uh, doctor's surgery smell. Um, but anyway, um, that's it, isopropyl it's called, I call it, I, it's called rubbing alcohol. And you can get it in different bottles, different types, different things, this and that and the other. And this is supposed to be 100% pharmaceutical grade, but I don't suppose it makes any difference. Uh, propyl alcohol, isopropanol, it's called isopropanol, isopropyl, I call it isopropanol. Anyway, that's by the by, that's what I've been using to, to, to move the wax around on the on the paper. And uh, Pabacastle pencils with a few derwents, because some of the Pabacastles don't give me what I want for some reason. I don't, I can't really explain it, I'm not all that good at thingy and I don't want to put anything down or up or whatever I'm I just I just know what I like and uh, some of them are, are pretty hard they must be hard for a reason because they're, they're a classy firm anyway and I do like my day went thing I've just charged a thing upon it um, the two little batteries inside and uh, I've used that quite a bit I've got to use it again I, have got, I haven't put any whiskers in on this yet I'm supposed to put the whiskers in but I don't like acrylic it gets on my nerves, it dries and it doesn't come off the brush as quick as I like. I, I like things to stay on the brush and stay wet so as I can move it along. It tends to stick and oh you make a hell of a mess. I, I don't know what it is. I'm not an expert on that anyway so I'm not an expert on anything. But this is as far as I've got uh, and uh, I don't know why I'm putting these on YouTube because they're not, they're not really all that good. <sighs> it's just it's just that they're they're a filler. They're filling in for me um, until I get. Past, I think I I think I'll enjoy pastels. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, my morning bugger. Anyway, I'll stop there, and uh, I've got a long way to go on this yet, and I, I probably won't even finish it. It'll be like the rest of them. <laughs> It'll be like the rest of them. I've got to do his um, leg down here and bits and pieces. It's making the effort to finish now. Uh, I've got to push myself now to finish this. I've had enough of it now. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm trying to get the right angle. For, oh, anyway, I'll stop there and uh, I'll show you. That if there's any finish to it, I'll finish it. And if I don't finish it, I'll still show you it. Well, this is me part seven. Last few minutes. Uh, I just spent an hour or so on it and. Uh, I can fiddle on and fiddle on and fiddle on forever. I, I keep seeing things and keep seeing things and keep seeing things. I suppose that's what makes a good a good picture. I don't know. I've got no idea. Uh, but I've had enough of it now. I've had enough. I'm waiting for me pastels coming tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I think I'll put this into the drawer. No return. And um, I haven't even finished it. It's another one I haven't finished. But I'm. Um, I haven't felt like it. I, 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 these haven't enthralled me, and I, I just can't, <laughs> I just can't get going on these. But uh, I've tried something else. I've, I've tried less. I've tried more, less realism and more for something. I don't know what else I was trying for. I don't, They look a bit cartoonish to me, and I can't get what I want with it with, it, with the coloured pencils. And I was watching somebody the other day, and he was talking about some of the. Uh, so it wasn't just me. He was talking about some of the Faber Castell pencils being a little bit harder than other ones, and uh, I do like soft pencils. So although these Prima Colour Prisma Colours do break, I'm going to try them in the future if I do try anything. Uh, or these other ones which I bought, these um, Marco Renoir, and see if they're uh, see if they're any softer. I still haven't done any of them, but 
I keep bouncing around, but uh, I'm just enjoying this I'm just as long as I'm happy, I'm not bothered. Um, if this wasn't for YouTube, nobody would see these anyway, so, and not many people see them on YouTube in any case, so I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Uh, and the people that do look at it, I do thank them. Um, so, just an old man trying to pass his days, that's all. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll stop there. And uh, the friend that I did have, that I used to send them to, and things like that, my bits and pieces, what I did, um, he's very ill at the moment, so I, I, cannot, I cannot sort of... Um, sort of share anything that I've been doing. He used to share things with me and he used to ask me for bits and pieces and little things, not big things, I don't mean big things, I mean a particular bit out of a book or something like that because we're both interested in Roman archaeology and stuff like that and um, yeah anyway I shall stop there and uh, call this a day and I've called it my tiger and cub frontal <laughs> because I'm a very technical person. Uh, done with a bit of watercolour underneath wash. Um, Faber Castell and Derwent pen pen uh, pencils I've used. And it was, a, it was a 12 pack of each I've been using. And I did use one of the, one of the pencils which I was quite pleased with which is, um, I'll show you the, the type it is, this is the Marco Renoir. And it was a blue one. See if I can get you there. Colour 3 1000. Yeah, 3 100, sorry. Yeah. It, yeah, it's not too... It's not too bad. It did what I wanted it to do anyway. So you can see my selection of pencils. I ain't got many. And that's what I've been using to finish off. The black. Because I wasn't... Fit it. I wasn't too satisfied with the Faber Castle black, and I've gone to Daywent black. Daywent black satisfied my needs, and uh, the rest of them. Are, you can tell the Daywent they've got this peculiar end on them there, whereas the Faber Castles have got the silver rings on or gold rings. Anyway, and those are the couple of brushes, mainly rigger brushes I use to do things. Probably doing it all wrong. Anyway, I'll stop there with the last shot, and that's it. And I'll call it a day and thank you.